Well, good morning, Kids Church. It is so good to be back together again. We're so glad to be with you and spend this time with you. We've got a great program this morning. We've got some worship. We've got some fun and games with the time traveler. But first, we're going to pray. We're going to dedicate this morning to God. So wherever you are, just hold your hands out. Amen, God. We thank you so much that you love us, that you know us, and that wherever we are, you are with us. Your spirit is with us. And I pray that as we worship today and as we hear your word, that we would draw near to you and that we would know you better. Amen. Traveller, and I go back in time to investigate history. But more importantly, biblical history. Previously on Kids Church. It's like totally an angel of the Lord. <laughs> angel selfie! <laughs> Gideon, our hero, is in a wine press, oh, hiding, oh. hiding from the bad Midianites. Not being brave or anything, but then you turn up. What did you say to him? Oh, Gideon, I've come from the Lord to encourage you that you can do this. Get up, mighty warrior! Oh, that's, that, well done. I'm we're going back in time! Well, good morning, Kids Church! My lady, my time traveller here, 
as you know, we have been going on an adventure through the Old Testament with Gideon, okay? Because as you remember, there's been some weird stuff going on. Last week, we saw him in a wine press with an angel, and he got told that he was going to be like a major warrior. This week, we've basically discovered that he had this like massive army of like 32,000 people. And then slowly, he like cuts it back and back and back, like some sort of word is like X factor. So let's get the old time traveling binoculars and let's look at what's happening, shall we? Yeah, look, so it's this weird like X factor thing. They're like basically gonna like, you know, evict people from the next round. Let's go watch it, shall we? I'm going in. <laughs> Welcome to the Israelites X Factor. Now, who will make it through to the next round? Will it be Jeremy or Grace? It's Jeremy! Who are you? Uh, I'm so glad you asked. I'm time traveller, Milady, my time traveller, and I've come back here into what is the Old Testament to figure out what on earth is going on here. So, you've basically just been kicked out of the Israelite army. True? Yep. And how do you feel? I think it wasn't really fair. It wasn't, it wasn't a great test. It was... no. Yeah, I saw that. What was it they actually asked you to do? We just had to drink the water, but... Some of us knelt down and did it, but then some of us lapped up the water. Like in your hands? Yeah. Like, like that. Pumped. And what did you, you were down? Yeah. Or? yeah, so you were down, acting like a normal person, like drinking the water from the stream. And some other people were like lapping it like dogs, like this. Should we, should we show the kids church what they were doing? They were sort of going like this. Yeah, that's weird. And so Gideon's chosen like the dog lapping people as his like final army. Yeah. Oh, that's just outrageous. I know, Don't right. we all just feel so sad for Grace? So, right, do you know what? I think you've got a bright future ahead of you in, oh, oh, let me predict, let me predict, uh, plumbing. I feel like plumbing is the way forward for you. Go check that out. I feel like you're going to be good at that. Nice okay. to meet you, Grace. Nice to meet you too. I mean, it like, it does make sense to like, you know, get rid of the bits of the army because what it actually says in the Bible is that God wanted the Israelites to understand that it wasn't by the power of this big army that they were going to defeat the Midianites. It was actually by the power of God. So even though I like feel really sorry for Grace, I know everything's going to be fine for her. I've seen her future. She's going to do great. It's actually so that God can prove his mighty, mighty power. What I want to know now, though, is are they actually going to win? And how are they going to do it with only 300 people? We have to go and we have to find out. Are you ready, kids, church? It's happening. service that was we had so much fun filming that together and we hope that you had fun this morning as well we premiere on youtube at 9 a.m every sunday morning so next sunday you join us at 9 a.m we can't wait to see you then bye